Welcome to this exciting tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to fix the edges of your subject after keying or rotoscoping. This technique is called edge extension, and it's incredibly useful when you're replacing the background in your shot. Often, after keying or rotoscoping, you'll notice that when you merge your subject with a new background, the edges might appear too dark or too bright, making them stand out unnaturally. One solution is to erode the edges of your subject. However, this can result in a loss of detail, especially in areas like hair. And we don't want that if we're aiming to preserve all the fine details in the plate. To fix this, we use a node called Erode Dilate in combination with a Clean Plate node. While the Clean Plate node is typically used to generate a clean plate, we'll repurpose it here for edge extension. You'll notice that this setup kills the alpha channel. Don't worry, we'll fix it. Use the garbage mat input on the Clean Plate node and connect it below the Erode Dilate node. Inside the Mask tab, under Garbage Mat, invert the node. Now we've got the setup we need. Go to the Plate tab in the Clean Plate node and grow the edges. You can also use the Fill option, but for this tutorial, we'll skip that. Using the Erode Dilate node, you can erode the alpha and remove any unwanted dark or bright outlines. Be cautious with the Erode Dilate settings, as it can damage fine details in your plate. Make small adjustments to avoid overdoing it. Next, take the Copy node we set up in my last tutorial and place it below the Clean Plate node. Use it to copy the alpha channel back to your plate. Remember that you can also use the Channel Boolean node and change the RGB to BG. When the alpha channel hasn't been multiplied by the RGB values, it's referred to as unpremultiplied or straight alpha. There are plenty of great tutorials out there that explain premultiply and unpremultiply in detail, so I won't dive into it here. However, I highly recommend checking them out if you're not familiar with the concept. It can help you resolve many issues in your comps once you understand how it works. To fix this, add a node called alpha multiply. Now, compare the before and after. The edges should blend much better with the background. However, this setup applies the edge extension uniformly to the entire subject. Sometimes you might need different levels of extension for specific areas. For example, less on the shoulder and more on the arm. Here's how to fix that. Branch out from the main tree and connect the erode dilate node. Then use a dissolve node. Connect the green input of the dissolve node to the clean plate node. Add a Polygon node and connect it to the Mask input of the Dissolve node. Use the Polygon node to draw the specific areas where you want to apply edge extension. Move the Copy node below this branch and add the Alpha Multiply node. This setup ensures that only the areas you select with the Polygon node are affected. If you need to extend another edge, simply copy this setup, add another Dissolve node, and repeat the process. The reason we use the Dissolve node is that it gives us quick access to the background slash foreground slider, allowing us to easily control how much of the edge extension is visible. For the best results, I recommend denoising your plate before applying this effect. I'm using a third-party plugin called Neat Video, but you can also use the built-in denoiser in DaVinci Resolve. Denoise your plate at the start, and then after completing the comp, you can reintroduce the noise to keep the final output natural but that's a topic for another tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you'd like more handy tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for future tutorials. Also, feel free to check out my website to see more of my work and get in touch with me. See you in the next video.